Hello my lovely Aries, I am Jessica from Willow Vines Intuitive Vibes and I am here to do your May 2020 quickie love reading. Um, keep in mind this is a general reading, it will not apply to every single one of you, I wish I could do that but I can't. If you'd like me to pick up on your personal energy please email me, my email is in the box below. I'll gladly give you all the information you need on personals, it's on the community tab as well as my website and don't forget to check me out on Patreon. These will not be extended over there, just uh, my longer readings, my the first generals that I was doing, those are extended. Um, I just figured I wanted to do shorter readings for you guys just as a check-in and because not everybody likes, you know, to sit down and watch an hour, hour and a half hour, hour and a half reading um, while other people do, but you know, it's the best of both worlds. So I'm trying to accommodate everybody and sometimes different storylines come out. So it might hit a different group of you or it could just carry you know, right along with what was going on before. Um, yeah, I also created merchandise. I'm going to have the link in the description box below. I love it. I have a new logo and everything. It took me a lot, like it took, took me a while. I'm not very tech savvy to figure it all out and I'm so in love. I can't wait to get my own sweatshirt and possibly some leggings, but if you're interested uh, if you're interested in supporting me and checking it out for the very at the very least, go right ahead. So, I encourage you to do so just to see what I did. <laughs> you know. Anyways, the overall energy is Eclipse Mermaid, a powerful energy shift. I believe I've gotten this for you guys before. Um, there's a change of brewing. Changes in the wind is what I feel. Um, I feel like a lot of like epiphanies are happening for a lot of signs because I keep saying that and I, I keep feeling it like people are finally, you know, taking people at face value, really listening to what people are telling them. Um, it's almost like you're seeing, you're seeing the truth through the lies, like almost like the light is shining through the cracks is what I feel and I feel like somebody is going to be faced with an ultimatum because I, I get a sense that someone in the situation that you're dealing with Aries it could be you vice versa whatever I could be talking to a cross watcher um, is not only fed up but there's somebody who's trying to control the situation like because they they have um, like high hopes for a certain outcome or they just want their expectations to be met, basically, and I feel like somebody is going to be, you know, sadly mistaken when, ugh, I cannot talk for some reason. So communication is huge here. I feel like, like I said, you're, you're seeing through the bullshit, or someone is, but there's still more to the situation. There's still more to what that person is saying or what they're hiding, like more than meets the eye in this situation. Um, it's almost like, well, why are you saying the things you're saying? Why are you doing the things that you're doing? Um, why, why now? I just heard. So it could have been a long time coming that you've been waiting for somebody to approach you, um, or to get the ball rolling. And it's all, uh, it almost seems sudden with this energy shift. Like really, why, why are you here? Um, because last night I knew I didn't think he wanted a relationship or I didn't think he wanted me or whatever. So I feel like you're questioning someone's motives as well. And rightfully so, because I feel like somebody's been strung along for a minute, whether that's you or you're doing it to somebody. It's just been waiting. I feel like the, uh, a sense of impatience. Alrighty. So let's see the overall energy surrounding this specific situation is mildew fairy cleanup time. She represents mold. <laughs> uh, mold, you know, has its pros and its cons, just like everything else. You know, everyone looks at it as being bad, and it can be, depending on what type of mold it is and where it is and how much of it, it of it there is. So it's almost like those lies, like you're seeing through the cracks in someone's story. So it's like mold is infesting, and there, it, it's different if it was a white lie or if it was something small but I feel like it's almost like the whole situation is a lie like I've been living a lie is what I'm feeling like the mold is taking over basically and it's time to clean up it's time to remove people from your life that are that are that way or this specific person who has been a bullshit artist basically a con artist of sorts um I just feel a major bullshitter oh by the way 
post warning. I use bad language. If you don't like it, see you later. Bye. I don't have time for that. Um, it is what it is. I hope that you stay though, because you could have messages here. Anyways, so yeah, I feel like somebody's getting caught red handed, like <sighs> telling stories, tall tales. And I feel like it's been going on for a while. I mean, hell, it could have even been going on anywhere from six weeks, six months to six years. And the first thing that popped in my head was six years. So this is somebody that you've known for a minute, Aries. And I could be talking to some cross watchers where Aries is doing this to them. Um, because not all signs are innocent, but it is Aries reading and I am picking it up as if it's being done to Aries. Um, I feel like you've turned a blind eye to it for a while, but you're, you're basically taking out the bleach. You're putting on your gloves and you're like, I'm going to start bleaching this bitch right out and, you know, until it's squeaky clean. So you're digging for answers, basically, is what I'm feeling, feeling. So then we have the Ten of Wands, which is heavy burdens. I feel like it's been a long time coming. Like I said, it could even be up to six years. So that's a long time to lie to somebody about even something small. But I feel like this lie is so big. It's it's like you don't even know who this person truly is because of what they've said and what they've done. Um, it's like you just don't trust anything. Um, they're just very secretive. I feel like there's other people involved. For some of you, there, this person legit has another family. I, I, it's almost like a whole other, a whole another life. Like this person was telling you one thing and leading you to believe that they were this way or whatever, and right down to the type of job that they have, and how they make their money, whatever, and then they're telling somebody else something completely different. And it's almost like, how does this person keep up with their lies? And I feel like they did a very good job at keeping up with it. But it was like the reason why there's cracks, you know, um, why the light's shining through in the cracks and the truth is coming out is because it's a very heavy burden to bear for whoever's been keeping these secrets. And I feel like they're just ashamed. It's almost like um, a form of commitment issues, like a fear of abandonment and rejection. So this person makes themselves sound all grandiose because they don't want people to judge them, think less of them, or reject them in any way, um, possibly because they've been rejected their entire lives. So it's like, I'll create this persona, basically, and we'll, I'll just live a lie, and everyone will love me. I feel something like that, but it's a heavy burden to bear, and like I said, the truth is coming out. Um, we have the Knave of Wands reversed, which is all about communication, usually in the upright. It can be passionate communication, friendly communication. Knaves or pages are younger energy, but to me, I mean, if the person isn't younger than you or you're not younger than whoever you're dealing with, this can just be maturity because sometimes, like, intuitively when I pick up on, like, an age difference, it, it, it could just be maturity level, um... It just depends on how it presents itself, and I strongly feel that, obviously, if somebody's been lying this long and they're so afraid of judgment, they are pretty immature. Um, I feel like this is lying about how you feel about somebody, too. Like, I don't feel like it's hidden desires. For some of you, they're, you're dealing with somebody... Oh my god. Okay, this is just a small message. Because, well, then we have the King of Swords reverse, which is all about lies and manipulation. But this tiny message is seriously for, like, probably one person. Um, there is a female out there, and not a feminine energy, a legit female, um, who has a best friend, or a very close friend, I should say, that is a gay male, a homosexual male. And, you know, they've been friends for probably six years or more. And I feel like this, I mean, you guys have talked about everything. You're very close. I mean, you've undressed in front of each other, this, that, and the other. I, f I feel like with the hidden passion that I was talking about and this heavy burden to bear, they can't keep keep this secret in anymore. Your, your friend is not... Um, just into guys, I'm just going to say, because your friend actually is in love with you, and they're, I, I almost feel, I want to say they're bisexual, and you just didn't know it, 
but for some reason, I almost feel that they're not even gay. Like, have this would be for somebody who has never seen their gay best friend ever on a date, like, ever with another man or anything. Like, maybe jokingly or at a bar or something, but this person's been legit living it up as if that's their lifestyle, and it's not. And I feel like it was just because it was easier to to say that so that they wouldn't get rejected and you guys can stay friends. It's almost like they told this one little lie and it just, it compounded on top of each other is what I feel. If that's the case, this person isn't trying to manipulate you in a, in a, in a bad way, but I feel like you have had a closeness with them that you're going to feel almost violated because of it for whoever that's for, but that's definitely not for everybody. I mean, for some of you, the lie is, I feel like the lie is so different for each and every one of you because this is almost like a broad message. But there's somebody who is definitely not who they say they are, regardless of the details of it, and they have been lying. And it is somebody that you have feelings for, or that you thought had feelings for you. It's a form of manipulation. Can I get more on this, please? Why did the Ten of Wands... The Knave of Wands reversed and the King, King of Swords reversed come out. Because this is like, things are not as they seem. It, I just keep going back to that. And somebody is very burdened. They're about ready to snap because they've been holding this back or holding on to this, this lie forever. For some of you, it's a legit, like, one huge lie. A major lie. Like you know, that gay friend thing. I, I, I even think that it's worse than that. And that's not really that bad. It's just embarrassing for that person because um, they fear losing their best friend and their, you know, their love interest. But um, for some, it's a bunch of lies. We have the Ace of Swords. This is all about communication. I feel like the truth is about ready to come out in probably a very tactless way. We have the Page of Swords, which to me is online communication. It's also like kind of stalking, spying. I mean, sometimes it's innocent, but I feel like I feel like through some research, ugh, through some research online, Aries. This is how you're finding out um, at least some of the secrets. You're getting some truth through online spying. And I feel like that's what's going to basically be the icebreaker here. Like, that's the straw that broke the camel's back. I feel like, and it's going to be the start of your, like, in-depth investigation with this person. I don't feel like you're fully ready to talk to them yet, but you've been holding back like, yeah, I know you're full of shit and there's a secret there. Yeah, with the two of swords, it's almost like, okay, how do I provide this clarity if you're the one who's lying or how do I approach this situation to tell someone so I know what the fuck? Yeah, how do I bring justice to the situation because somebody's totally bullshitting you? Oh my goodness, there's an ultimatum here too. Remember I said that? There's secrets all over the board. Some of, and I feel, they're, they're not good secrets either. They're not like, oh, I've been hiding my, my undying love from you forever. Um, if that's the case, like if there is an Aries out there where either that they're doing it or somebody's hiding their true feelings towards you, it's because they're in a commitment. Um, and they have been watching you secretly, and you and I feel like you might find out soon because they can't stand um, not talking to you, not seeing you, not being near you. And it is somebody that you were friendly with or that you were friends with that you're not anymore, that you moved away from, if that's the case. And if, if that's the case, that's not bad. But I feel a negative secret here, too, not just the whole, oh, I love you and I'm hiding it. But somebody, there is somebody out there that does feel that way, that is dealing with an Aries, or that's how Aries feels. It's almost like you've never had the opportune time to express yourself, um, so you just kind of have to sit 
silently and just hold it all in. Someone's about ready to explode is what I feel. The butterfly, relationship evolving into the next phase, healing the inner child growth. And I did say like a difference in maturity level. There's somebody who's being pretty immature and I feel like with this truth coming out, there will be growth in the situation because it's going to be forced out of them. So they're going to be forced to face what they've done from their past because somebody has been suppressing this and like really like trying dotting their dotting their i's and crossing their t's trying to make sure that nobody finds this out and i feel like there was a slip up there was a crack in the plan reminiscing keepsake perception learn from the past make memories this is definitely not a memory you want to keep i'm just going to say somebody is taking a risk or a gamble and they did with this secret because I almost feel like somebody committed to this person off from false pretenses. It's almost as bad as you getting married and finding out that your wife or husband is married to somebody else. So even though they're not physically with that person, they never told you, so it makes your marriage not not legal, and, like, this person is either on their deathbed or something's going on, so, therefore, you know, the their estate, their assets, just their um, insurance money and everything would go to their prior, to their actual spouse, like, I don't know, something big. It's going for somebody, and that's not for everybody. But the blockages in this connection or what uh, the situation is wing seer, you see clearly clairvoyance. I feel like spirit has been nudging you and sending you signs, like even dreams. Or for those of you who meditate, you've been getting like visions while you meditate. Um, I see somebody driving in their car and. Whether the, there's music playing in the background, so you're jamming out to the to tunes or whatever while you're driving, probably commuting to work or just whatever. I feel like I'm zoning out. I don't know if this has ever happened to you. It's happened to me before, but it's where, you know, you're driving and you get lost in thought and then you're like, when you kind of snap out of it, you're like, damn, I'm already here. Where the, I don't even remember the drive. Like, how scary is that? How did I get here without killing everyone, you know? I feel like somebody is doing that, but in those, like, space out moments, you're seeing flashes or images in your mind of your person of this secret but you can't you can't, you couldn't really make out what it meant because you didn't specifically see your partner or your love interest involved like it was almost like you were trying to decode a puzzle and you couldn't figure it out so they were trying to help you but you just you weren't receive you were receiving the messages but you weren't interpreting them right is what i'm feeling but i also feel like there were a lot of uh red flags or warning signs right in front of you when you uh, first got involved with this person or during I feel like just the whole time you've been connected to them because some of you are partnered with this person whether you're just committed or, or married um, but I feel like this could also be a love interest someone that you've been pining over or you know wanting back in your life or just in your life in general and you've been trying to work up to that but I feel like there's been warning after warning and you're just not taking these warnings as warnings you're not seeing something clearly, but I feel like it's going to be shoved right in your face before you know it. And then we have the Six of Swords reversed, which is not letting go of a situation, not letting go of something from the past or someone from the past. Um, it's not moving on, basically, because you're not receiving the message clearly, so you're staying put. You're, you're staying on the same course, you know? We have the Ace of Swords, which is all about truth, but in this deck, I it I can't talk right now, and this, somebody needs to speak up big time. There's a lot that somebody needs to say, and I feel like they're going to stumble over their words left and right. Like, this is somebody who doesn't stutter, and they'll be stuttering, just going to say. Um, this is all about trust to me, because, you know, she's tying him up, and he's all handcuffed and whatever, and you have to have full trust in somebody to let them do that to you because, you know, she could come over here and take that dagger and torture him and then fucking stab him to death, you know? He don't know that. He has to have faith in her that she's going to do whatever 
he allows her to do like within his limits. And I feel like this person has stepped out of bounds big time. Um, you trusted them. Uh, this is somebody that you have full faith in. I almost feel like you've questioned it before, like you've questioned their loyalty before, but you kind of shrugged it off because they always had an answer for everything. Wow. And then we have the King of Pentacles. This is an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This can be a husband figure, a father figure. Some of you, it's the father of your children or just a masculine energy in general that you're dealing with, or you are the masculine energy. Um, I feel like some of you are demanding this truth. Like, I'm not going anywhere until you fucking tell me what the hell's going on. Like, I, you know, I've been with you for six fucking years or however long. You know, I deserve to know why you're leaving or why you did this or why you spent all this money, you know, or why you liquidated our assets. What the fuck? Like, um, I feel like somebody did something big without you knowing and it's it's coming out but to me in this deck he is chasing after her and she doesn't she's not really that interested it's almost like he's taking advantage of her or he's trying to um and I don't normally look at it that way I, I kind of I see it as though she's being shy like the hard to get but in this instance I feel like he's kind of pushing himself on her like he's being very pushy so I feel like a blockage for you in this connection or with this person is something that they said to you which was more than likely part of the lie that I'm talking about because it's compounded lies like I said they would always get you to stay so like if you were starting to see the red flags or listening to a warning here or there during the time that you've connected to this person, you, they would, like, if you would ever bring something up, they, they, they had an answer for everything. They could just explain it away, and it sounded legit. So you just thought this person was trustworthy. So you put your trust, your faith, in somebody who definitely did not deserve it, which is why not seeing clearly is a blockage for you. I feel like your passion, how you felt or feel about this person, um, was what blinded you. It was just because it's like, you know, they love me just as much as I love them. Like, how can we have this strong connection? You know, how could they lie to me or do this, that, or the other when, when we feel this way about each other? You know, like, you just didn't believe it. And then we have the devil, Capricorn energy. So you could be dealing with a Capricorn because we do have the King of Pentacles here too. Um, but that's also Taurus and Virgo, like I said. But this is like, it's like a toxic attachment. I just, I feel like this is a cycle. This is a person, whoever you're dealing with is the type of person that they they're keeping you stuck with their bullshit basically and every time you go to run away or walk away they lure you back in is what I feel can I get more on this please what are they not seeing clearly yeah we have the king of swords reversed again Gemini Libra Aquarius I see him as Gemini usually this is somebody who's very manipulative, especially next to the devil. Um, and that's what that would be. You know, if there, if somebody is really trying to get you to believe a lie, of course they're going to be manipulating you because they'd have to manipulate the situation so that you wouldn't find out. You're just under somebody's thumb. Yeah. We got the Eight of Swords. This is feeling mentally trapped and stuck to the situation. It's a cycle that just won't end. I feel like it's a cycle from hell. And I feel like when you find this information out, you're going to feel... You're going to feel trapped. I feel like you mentally feel trapped around this person because you just don't know which way is up, especially when um, the secrets come to light. But 
you've been going round and round with this person for a minute, for whoever I'm talking to. There's major trust issues here. And rightfully so, because this person's a bullshitter. And it's going to leave you up in your head. I feel like this person... It, I almost feel like it's necessary to leave this situation, to not connect to this person, or to leave this person. But they have such a hold on you. I mean, hell, some of you could be legit married to a lawyer or dating one or some or a police officer somebody you know in that type like does that type of work that works for the justice system or the legal system or whatever um so it's almost like they get away with murder because they know the, they know the ins and outs of the laws but they technically are the law so, it's like they can just get away with this shit. Somebody has money in an offshore account as well. I'm just going to say. Somebody's like embezzling money. And I almost feel like your name is tied to it without you knowing it. But that's not all of you. Definitely not all of you. That's a small message. That's for somebody who out there who has quite a bit of money. This person, whoever you're dealing with, they're into kink. Like, majorly. Um, like they have some weird, twisted sexual fantasies, um, with younger, I'm going to say young girls, but I mean, it could be for some of you, you could be dealing with a female who has it bad for younger guys. And when I say young girls, I'm not talking like little kids, like eight or nine. I'm talking, they're, they're teenagers, they're under age, but they're like between the ages of 16 and I'm going to say 16 and 19, but I know 18 is legal. I just, just compared to how old this person is, it's wrong, which is probably where I was picking up the age difference and immaturity and hidden passions. They're hot. This person is definitely hiding the fact that they are into younger, um, younger girls or guys, um, and they have been for a while. I feel like part of the secret, like finding out, I feel like there's been signs, but you've ignored it because you love this person and they're a good, they're a good liar. I'm just going to say, but I feel like with this online investigation, like I said, I feel like the authorities are probably involved too, even though the person that's doing this is part of the authorities, just saying. But I feel like this is online pornography. Um, you know, pictures of young girls or this person doing things to these teenagers. Um, and even if some of them are of legal age, like I said, there's such a major age gap that it would disgust you because just because there's like one photo of this person with somebody who is, you know, of age, there's others that aren't. Um, I feel like if you looked through this person's, um, what is it? Not their track record, their record, basically, you would see that <clears throat> when they were younger, they had an offense, like a statutory rape accusation, but they never served for it. Like it was like a slap on the wrist because they were young themselves. But there was nothing from when they were an adult. And that's probably why they went into law enforcement or whatever the hell they're doing. Because they're, they're able to hide it better. Because they know the law. They are the law. Um, some of you, if it's not the pornography thing with the younger girls or guys or whatever. I feel like in that scenario, it is a man who is into underage girls. I'm just going to say. Because that's not a story for everybody. Um... I do feel like there's that kink factor as well, and it can be that extreme, but what was I going to say? <sighs> Domestic violence, there we go. I was going to say there's there's some of you out there that are with somebody who is either a police officer, a judge, a lawyer, whatever. They know the law. They work for the law, basically. They're around it all the time, and they're very emotionally and verbally abusive towards you. I feel like they don't hit you, like punch you and kick you and shit. I feel like they make you feel like a piece of crap and they sexually abuse you. So this person would be extremely demanding um, in the bedroom where if you said no, 
they wouldn't take no for an answer. So, and I'm sorry, but I've heard this before where people say that um, you can't be raped if you're married to somebody or dating them. Yes, you fucking can. If you say no and somebody still does it and they force you to do it, that is rape no matter what your relationship is to that person. And I feel like that might be going on for somebody. Um, and I almost feel like I might be talking to a mother or an aunt, um, and it's like your daughter or niece who is an adult who is dealing with this and you've seen warning signs, but it's like, it's someone, you know, some of you, I could be talking to the person who's dealing with this shit, but I feel like this might be somebody, you know, and you're learning about it. But yeah, this person's playing a very risky game and I almost feel like whoever's going to, um, speak up about this truth, rat this person out, or confront them, they're basically taking a gamble on that because I feel like not everyone's going to believe you. So the potential outcome, and I'm sorry this one is not as short as I wanted it to be, but th that's nuts. I didn't expect this to come out. Um, we have Ancient Wisdom, number 31, breaks down to a four, which is all about your stability. I feel like this is regaining your stability. It's <clears throat> coming to your senses and realizing that you knew all along. You might, have not, you might not have known all these details about your love interest. Like when I said, um, you're slowly finding out things and it could be somebody that you know. For some of you, it could be the person that you've had a crush on forever that you're trying to date that you've been waiting for and you're finding this out. Um, I feel like your intuition has been telling you all along. You just, you didn't really understand it. Like you didn't get it. Um, this is basically bringing information to light. It's like you, you know who to talk to, who to bring this, you know, the evidence to. I feel like this is gathering the evidence as well. It's not, it's not just accusing somebody and just saying it. You have proof. So you're not going to uh, do anything until you have proof. We have temperance, Sagittarian energy. This is all about balance and healing. And yes, this is definitely needed. I feel like whoever is in this situation, whether it's the abusive situation, uh, whatever the situation is, I do feel like there is not only a need for healing, but um, you will get through this. And I do feel like with this being a number four, I feel like family is going to help you. It's almost like, I kind of feel like this person, whoever I'm talking to or talking about has pushed their family members away because the family saw, you know, the, the warning signs. They didn't really know what the fuck was up, but they knew something was up. And I feel like because of that disagreement, you know, you kind of, you push them away, but this is healing those relationships with those family members because they were right. And it's kind of, you know, going home with your tail between your legs and being like, I'm really sorry. You know, I should have listened to you. I'm, I'm better than that. I'm smarter than that. I don't know why I fell for it. It's because your heart was involved and our heart can be stupid. So we have the five of pentacles. This is that loss, feeling a sense of lack. It's leaving somebody in the cold. It's getting out of this situation. It's also losing money. Um, I feel like some of you are going to take a financial hit with this situation just to get out, just to get away. Um, some of you might even pay somebody off to get them the fuck out of your life. Then we have the three of wands, but essentially this is just healing from a sense of lack from feeling left out. Three of wands, this is waiting. It's what you've been waiting for, but I feel like this is like being left yearning for somebody like you're never satisfied you only get moments of satisfaction or bliss or passion with this person so overall you felt you felt left out throughout this whole process even if you were dating this person just because of their actions I feel like with the whole you know kinky factor and then um you know, underage, you know, younger female fetish shit. I feel like this is, this is somebody being upset that they waited on somebody that had nothing to offer in the first place. Like, I feel disgusted with myself all of a sudden. Um, don't feel that way. I mean, I, I can't tell you what to do, but I'm just saying it's, it's not your fault. And then we have the Seven of Swords. Surprise, surprise. We have it again. Now it's in the upright. This is regret. 
And that's what I was feeling is you finding this out. It's like feeling regretful that you were waiting on this situation to come together or for this person to change or whatever. Whatever you were waiting on with the scenarios I said, I feel I feel like this is regret, like I shouldn't have done that or um, I feel self-blame even though you weren't the one doing anything wrong. It's just feeling kind of stupid for waiting on somebody or for staying with somebody who is like this. Like, how did I not see this? How did I not know? Like, I feel somebody yelling at themselves. And then we have the wheel. Divine timing, moving forward, imperfect timing. This is you literally getting away from the situation. Um, why did it take me so long? To figure this out, to see this clearly, to make this choice, to leave this person. Like, somebody's definitely playing the, bl the blame game because they're feeling stupid for staying with somebody or liking somebody who who is like that, who is manipulative. We have the magician. This is um, manifestation. It's making shit happen. For some of you, this has been a long time coming. And this is finally figuring out a way to get out of the situation, to get to get away from this person, to expose them of their dirty little secrets. Can I get more, please? No, I don't feel like it's that. Sorry. Can I get more, please? I was trying to make this one short, and I didn't. We have the four of wands. It's stability. I feel like this is making it on your own. Some of you just could have been saving your money. So when I said offshore account, I felt that for somebody who's pretty wealthy. But even if it's not an offshore account, some of you just could have legit, you know, had a, a bank account set up without your partner's name. Um, this is just stashing away money secretly so that you can get out of this cycle. Um, some of you... I feel like there's someone out there who legit took the blame for something that their person did. And it wasn't a sexual thing, but because that one, I don't think anyone would take the blame for that. I'm just going to say, and that hasn't even come out yet. Like, I feel like you're finding this out. Some of you, it's already happened, but for, I feel like some of you are finding this out. But I almost feel that someone took the blame for, for something that somebody else did. And, I mean, they're still paying for it. Like, um, what is it? So I, I just heard restitution, so it could have to do with that. But I was thinking fines and stuff. Um, and it did affect somebody's stability. And you're re-manifesting your stability back. Like, just regaining yourself after this. Um, some of you are putting your house up for um, bail money. Like, collateral. We have the Ten of Cups reversed. This is just not a happy situation. And it has to do with a family unit. For some of you, because I did say this this was going on with somebody that you know. It could be a family member. And they might be coming to you for help. And it's been a long time coming. It's almost like something that the whole family fucking knows. But, but you didn't seem to know. And it's not because you didn't know. It's because you were turning a blind eye. But the mold took over and... You can't hide it anymore kind of thing. There's multiple scenarios in here. But I feel like all in all, things are coming to light. And even though it's painful, you're moving on. Um, I do feel like there's some insecurities here. There's a lot of self-blame and regret and feeling like wasted time. Yeah. Feeling like you're not enough. Frustrated in relationship, lack of confidence, self-sabotage, fear, ego issues, and jealousy. Yeah, feeling like you're not enough even though you are. This has nothing to do with you. Um, we all fall for people's bullshit sometimes. And these types of people who hide these major secrets, these con artists, and these, you know, people who get us wrapped around their finger, they're good at what they do. Like, that's 
they just are. I don't know how to explain it. It's because they don't feel, they don't care. People who are empathetic, you know, we think about the other person. We put ourselves in their shoes and it's like, oh, we don't want to be taken advantage of like that. So it's harder for us to take advantage of them because of it. These people don't think like that, so they don't care. Um, so I feel like whoever this is, basically Aries, you're, you're finding out some secrets and you're kicking yourself in the ass for ever being with this person or liking this person or wanting them or whatever or getting involved with them at all. I do feel like whoever this is, for some of you, they've been in and out of jail or they've been in jail in the past. But I feel like, you know, you're dealing, you're either in love with or married to or committed to. Um, whoever the perpetrator is basically is either a lawyer, a judge, a police officer, or a corrections officer. They work in a jail like a security guard or something, um, like one of the guards, something like that. That's what I have for you. This is fucking shit. I'm sorry. Um, there's major trust issues here. I know this one is not for everybody. Sorry it was so long. I'm going to end it now, but, um... Yeah, I mean, it's pretty much a bonus reading for you now because it was only supposed to be 20 minutes. Whoopsies. But I love you guys. Um, I hope this isn't your story, but if it is, let me know. If you need a personal reading, you know where to find me. My email is below. Please like, share, comment, subscribe. The more you interact with me, the more apt I am to pick up on your energy. I expected this shit for Pisces reading because I always get bad messages for them. I Hopefully I get a good one, but yeah, I don't know. Maybe you're dealing with the Pisces. We definitely have Capricorn. But I love you guys. Peace.